Hey, what's going on guys? I'm going to talk today about how um, we can fight and combat the land expropriation without compensation. Now, before anybody does anything, what we need to do is we need to see what this is going to be, how far this land expropriation without compensation in South Africa is going to be. And, um, well, first of all, even though it has been okayed, um, it still has to be amended to the Constitution, so it's still going to be a long, drawn-out process. So, um... It's not going to happen immediately, okay? But if it happens, it goes into effect and um, Ramaphosa becomes like Mugabe and orders immediate seizures of land. Here's what the farmers need to start doing. Whatever crops they can pick and store, they need to go ahead and do it, okay? And they need to take what they can, go ahead and start storing things for themselves and for their farmhands because the farmhands are going to lose their jobs too because usually the land that gets seized, it doesn't keep being farmed. Usually the houses are seized and luxury lifestyles are placed in the home, but the land gets neglected. So nobody, no food is grown, nobody's fed. Um, that's why Zimbabwe is in the bad shape that it's in. Now, it's getting better slowly but steadily since Mugabe has uh, been ousted from power in Zimbabwe. So, the farmers need to store what they can for themselves and for their farmhands and give what they can to their farmhands. And right before that land gets seized, they need to burn the crops because the land's going to get neglected anyway and it's not going to get tilled. So, you're not you're not hurting your land any more than the invaders are so they're not going to have the luxury of taking over your land and if homes get seized Malema says it's not going to happen but i don't believe him i believe he's lying if the homes get seized what they need to do is remove all furniture get to england or um zambia or zimbabwe a country that can take you in and destroy that home because it keeps the occupiers from having the home remove all valuables there but don't let them occupy your home, okay? If the new president comes into power in 2019, which I hope happens, Mamusi Maimani and the Democratic Alliance take power, um, they'll work on certain plans getting you back to your land, um, or if they want to give land to the black farmers, they'll properly compensate you. Um, or, and then if they'll help you build a new house. I firmly believe they will. So that's, that is, that's not violently handling anything. And that's not starving anybody any more than the, um, the invaders are going to starve or, because the land's not going to get farmed more than likely. Most people that acquire land through land expropriation, um, they don't want the land. They don't want to farm land. They just want money. And Afriform proved that. Ernst Roots looked at data with that, the deputy CEO of Afriform. Anyways, hope everyone's doing well. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.